pleasure to participate in Chicago Celebrate Service to, uh, 2010 Jefferson Awards Gala. Uh, I think most of you know how much Scott and I love the Jefferson Awards and what an honor it is to serve and help people. I did want to say one thing, though I forgot. One thing that Scott really loves about Zoraida is, too, she always says talk when she mentions Scott. When she mentions Scott's name, that's what he just loves about her. So, um, if you know that, he's, he's a little short dumb, uh, complex. So, anyway, <laughs> I'm going to call you complex, but I love him anyway. After 24 years, we're still together. So, it did make a difference to me. Anyway, uh, thanks to all of our wonderful sponsors for their generosity and um, made this evening possible. Thanks to all of you for all your support and everything that Scott and I do, because you know we have the death out of you all the time, you know. We need fundraising, fundraising, because that's what we're gonna, you know, that's what we're gonna find cures, is we're gonna, you know, make sure that uh, our, our kids are getting, you know, carrying on the volunteerism uh, for the future, so that's important, and that's why we're here tonight. Uh, it is my pleasure to introduce our dear, dear, loving friend, uh, Sam Beard, who captured us into the Jefferson Awards, and he won't let us go now. So um, it is a pleasure to introduce to everybody. Sam is truly a one-of-a-kind special man who is responsible not only for the Jefferson Awards, but he's also um, he's a he's a pioneer in public service. And Sam Beard has dedicated his working life to public service. When you think of Sam Beard, you think of service and volunteering. Uh, I will let Sam tell you all about the Jefferson Awards and how they started and how they were born. But I want to tell you a little bit more about Sam. Scott says Sam is, I don't want to mention his name, but we have the power that we know all of you because of last our Jefferson Awards coming year when he turned 70, but he's 71. <laughs> and um, he doesn't look a day over what? It's just a seven. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't look at the act like him either. He acts like he's seven years old. So we have to kind of you know calm him down sometimes. So he's like a little kid. But we love him anyway. So in, um, Sam founded and remains chairman of the National Development Council, the NDC, a national nonprofit organization dedicated to redeveloping urban and rural low-income communities. National Development um, Council is responsible for over $100 billion in uh, financing, financing, creating over 1 million jobs and training over 3,000 economical uh, development professionals annually. Sam has created and shared programs for seven presidents of the United States, Presidents Nixon, Ford, Carter, Reagan, Bush, Clinton, and Bush. I was hoping I didn't get the presidents mixed up, and I'd really be in trouble. But anyway, um, and we think um, we think our youth service challenge, which Robert Ford will talk about, he's back here somewhere, um, about later, and be presidential program number eight. So I would like to, at this time, say, Sam, we love you, and I wanted to introduce you to Mr. Sam here. Please 